Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are continuing the stairway makeover. If you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure that you go check those out so you can see how far the stairway has come. But we still have lots left to do. We are taking the carpet off of these stairs today and adding some wood. I'm really excited about it, so let's get started. All right, this is what we're working with. The carpet is just, it's kind of old. It's really matted and run down. It's got some stains and then of course I got paint all over it. So I wanna pull this carpet up all the way up and we'll see what we're working with underneath. Okay, I got all the carpet off of the treads. Now, they are made out of garbage wood, which I figured that they weren't gonna be like nice oak treads under there, so I was prepared for that. So what we need to do now is take all of these little carpet strips off right there so we can make these completely smooth on the top. And then we're gonna come in and can you see how there's an overhang like right there? We're gonna take our saw and cut the front of these off so that it's completely flush with this board. Cut off the nosing of these stair treads. I tried out a few different saws to see which would work best, but I ended up coming back to my skill saw just because it was the most powerful. And I was starting from the middle. I had to make a plunge cut and I went as far as I could to each side. And then I had to come back in with my jigsaw to finish off the pieces that were close to the wall so I could get all of that nosing off of the front. Day two of this stair project and yesterday was a really long one. I off camera like scraped the stairs. It had all kind of drywall mud and stuff on it. These stairs were clearly built for carpet and not hardwood. So it's taking a little bit to get the structure in place that in the shape that we will need it to be to put the hardwood on top of it. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> 
And today we are working on the risers. That is the back part of the stairs, not the part that your foot goes on. And so I just got these quarter inch little hard boards right here. That's cut in half. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of paint on those before we cut them. Now I'm gonna need a couple coats of paint and a few coats of the sealer, just so I'm not touching them up all the time. But I wanna get one coat on them before we start. While we wait on that paint to dry, let me show you what's taking forever. So clearly these stairs were constructed to be carpeted, but whoever built them used construction adhesive here in this crack. So I'm not able to get anything in there like that's not 90 degrees. Our riser is not gonna sit flush against this and our tread's not gonna sit flush against this. So I'm having to take the oscillating tool and go through like, look at all this construction adhesive so I can get that. So it'll be as close to 90 degrees as we can get it. Once the paint was dry and I did a little math, I got out my table saw and cut the risers to the width that I needed them to be so I could get 14 equal pieces out of this one board. Okay, the demo is all done and it's time to start putting everything back together. I have to tell myself that every project, it always gets so much worse before it gets better. So I made these stairs so much worse than they were before and now it's time to make them so much better. And this is a super important tool that I'm going to use to do that. This is gonna allow me to cut the treads and the risers at the perfect angle or at least as close as possible to the walls because I know the walls, it's not gonna be 90 degrees it's just not going to be a straight cut so i'm going to use this it's adjustable for each side so i'm going to mark it on my risers and eventually my treads and that's going to give me the angle for each side that i need to cut to get a really snug fit i ordered these little metal pieces off of amazon and then i used a scrap one by two that i had laying around that was cut to the width that i needed for my actual stair treads and risers. You twist those little black knobs and that locks it in and you take that measurement and you transfer it over to either your tread or your riser. And then I take the board over to my miter saw and it's really helpful if your miter saw has a laser like mine does because I was able to just kind of swivel it one way or the other to match the line that I had without even having to do any math. Take all of the complication out of it and then once I cut that, just bring that over to the stairs and hopefully have a really snug fit. After I got the measurement for each of my risers, I made sure that I marked on the back what number stair that it correlated with and also which part of the riser was the top because the very last thing that I wanted to be doing was play musical stair risers whenever I was done cutting all of them and try to figure out which one fit where and this way I'll know exactly where they go when I go to actually install them.
Okay, now that all of the stair risers are dry fitted, I am going to go ahead and install them. And this is how I'm gonna be doing that. This is just a spare stair tread right here that I have, and I'm gonna be using that to set on top. So I can take this and lift it to where it needs to be, like that, to nail it in because they're sitting kind of low like that right now, but I need them to be higher to fit snug right up underneath there. To make sure that these stair risers don't go anywhere, I am using construction adhesive and then I'm just shooting in some brad nails to hold it in place until the construction adhesive dries. To get these treads ready to paint, I am going to fill all of the holes from the nail gun. I'm just concentrating on the ones at the top because the little holes at the bottom will be covered by the treads and some trim. So filling the ones at the top and then after those are dry, we'll sand those. And then of course we can't do any project without caulking. So we'll caulk the corners, even though they're a pretty tight fit, we'll go ahead and caulk those and get everything ready for paint. Okay, all of our wood filler is dry and I sanded it down and now we're gonna to be touching up all of these little spots. While I was waiting on our touch-ups to dry, I went ahead and spray painted these brackets for the handrail. I'm reusing the ones that were already there, but I didn't want them that gold color. I wanted them black. I'm also reusing the same handrail that I had before. I just cut it down and painted it and I'm reinstalling it. I'm trying to use as much of the materials that I already had, trying to reuse that wherever I can. Okay, we finally got this handrail back installed. And in order to save money, I just used the one that I already had. I do think it would look better to have one this color going all the way up, but it was expensive. So I just decided for now, we're gonna use this one. And then I spray painted, like you saw these little brackets for the handrail. We just have one more thing left to do in this video. So these risers, I painted white, but I wanna seal them because I do not wanna be touching them up all the time. And we go up and down these stairs tons. So I'm gonna use um, polycrylic to put a couple of coats on them to hopefully protect them so they don't get scuffed.
This is where we're gonna stop for today's video. I had originally planned to have everything be in one video, the risers and the treads, but I feel like I say this in every video, it ended up being more work than I thought it was going to be, but I didn't know the shape of the stairs under the carpet until we pulled off the carpet. So make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you check out next week's video because we are gonna be adding the treads and I'm super excited about it and be wrapping up this stairway project. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye.